We're continuing to check in on our Titans family and we are joined now by Roger Saffold. Roger, how are you and your family doing right now? Well, we're actually doing really good. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it has been tough. It has been a change. Um, you know, my wife says all the time that, you know, though she hates that this is going on. She loves that she gets to spend extra time with me since so I don't have to go to spring practice right now. So speaking of that, what are you doing to keep your mind and your body right since you're not going back to spring practices and doing some of those routine things that you normally do? Um, just, just trying to stay focused. I mean, you know, we still have notes from the prior years, you know, try to take a look through those. Uh, I, I think the biggest thing I'm trying to do is take care of my body. Uh, making sure that I'm working out is taking away a lot of stress, uh, takes your mind off of the situation. Um, but, you know, just definitely want to be here for my for my wife and kids, want to make sure that they're good. And uh, for them, you know, I know that we're helping them with school. So we're still staying busy through this time. Well, that's awesome. Now tell me a little bit about Rise Nation, because that's one thing that may not be impacted by this situation as much. Tell me about that and what's going on. Uh, basically what it is is like we still have streamers we still have people who are who can't go to events but they're having a lot of these contests online it's a little bit tough because uh, when they're together at an event there's a the competition is a little bit more level because you don't have to worry about connection status who being the host as far as connection is concerned uh, but we're still taking care of uh, all of our competitions uh, gears we're a uh, gears of war team is doing really really well and yeah, you know, this is the this is the time that everybody is watching gameplay because nobody can do anything with it at home. That must be nice for you in terms of recruiting new guys and seeing what talent's out there as well, correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The crazy thing about the esports world is that everything is kind of a niche. That, you know, it's kind of like a circle that goes around each individual game. Now we know all those circles, which is easy for us, but every time there's somebody new up and coming, it's usually the pros who are able to find them and then we kind of settle in to see if they're ready or not. Now you're a guy who seems like you have a good balance. You know how to keep yourself on track throughout whatever adversity comes your way. You're a veteran player, you know. What advice do you have for some of the younger guys who may not have established that balance yet and are having a hard time navigating this time where things are a little bit different? Uh, things are a little bit different. I remember something happening, you know, similar uh, when we had the lockout back in 2011. I was a rookie going into my first off season, so it was weird not going to spring practice or anything that I was used to the year before. Uh, the difference is now being able to stay home. But I think that the biggest thing that I could tell rookies is just to make sure that they stay mentally sharp and make sure that you take care of your body because those are the things that's going to help you when you get back. Um, I think that constant communication with your coaches is huge. Um, you know, I talked to Coach Braves, I talked to uh, Coach Carter, uh, I've, I've talked to everybody. So, I mean, I think that that's just keeping us in the loop so there's no surprises when it's time to come back. What message do you have for Titans fans who might be watching this right now? Um, my message is, is, you know, the, the grind still hasn't stopped. Uh, we're, we're definitely working. Uh, all the players are in contact with one another. And, you know, we're trying to go and chase the championship again. That's our main focus. If, if it comes a time where we can't practice right now, uh, the best thing that we can do is just constantly try to better ourselves until it's time to get together. Roger Saffold, thanks <laughs> for taking some time to sit down and chat with us. Oh, thank you guys.